Okay, so this is my most asked question. What foundation do I use? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a doctor's appointment and I wanted to get ready. So I was like, why not get ready on camera? Because you guys always ask me what face products I use, like foundation, what primer I use. Oh, and I only have like 15 to 20 minutes to get ready. So hopefully I'm ready in time for my appointment. I'm gonna like try to rush it. But I also wanna show you guys all the products that I do use. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name's Solandra. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. So after washing my face, I do use this Paula's Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant. So I applied this in the morning. Okay, so now for primer, I do use this Fenty Beauty. What is it called? Soft Silk Pro Filter Pro Hydrating Primer. Because I feel like my skin has been a little bit more dry now that I'm pregnant. Especially like around my nose area and I know I told you guys that coffee makes me sleepy but this is honestly like 90% creamer the rest is coffee hopefully it doesn't make me sleepy but I feel like today I woke up so tired so before I used to do my eyebrows on my eyeshadow first and then foundation but for a while now I've been doing a foundation first okay so this is my most asked question what foundation do I use I use this L'Oreal foundation this one's the infallible one and I like that this one has SPF it has SPF of 25 it's not that high but it has like some SPF but literally my holy grail foundation I usually use a shade 445 and then when I'm a little darker, I use 455. Right now I'm lighter, so I should be using 445, but I can't find the other shade, so I'm gonna use the 455. I feel like the 445 is like the perfect freaking match. So I just apply it all over my face. Oh my God, I have like a, a gallo. But if you guys didn't know, I have like little freckles right here. And this foundation is super good at covering them. So for Beauty Sponge, you guys already know my holy grail. I feel like I always talk about it on Instagram. This is from my lash brand, the Lash Bar Lady. This is my Cotton Candy Swirl Beauty Sponge. It's super soft. So let's go ahead and blend this out. You see, I feel like even though it's a little bit darker, it still matches me pretty well. But I feel like the shade 445 is like even more of a perfect match. You guys need to make sure to get your neck. I'm like near your ears. Okay guys, do you see the pimple? I'm gonna show you guys how well this foundation covers it. Bam. This pimple was huge yesterday. But I feel like the patch really did help it out. Okay, so I feel like I have pretty good coverage. I even covered my eyebrows a little bit with foundation. So the eyebrow pencil kind of like sticks onto my eyebrows a little bit better. If you do have a little bit more discoloration, you could just add a little bit more foundation to wherever you need it. I feel like I kind of don't need it because I do add concealer to my under eyes. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. But I love how this foundation doesn't leave your skin looking like cakey. It leaves it, it gives it more of a like natural finish but it gives you full coverage. Okay guys, so for eyebrows, I usually use the Bomb Cosmetics Ferocious Brow Pencil, which is this one. But like, I don't have any more. Oh my god, this is literally my holy grand. I think it's sold out online, which I'm super sad about. I probably have to go find it like in a store. But since that one is out, I'm gonna be using the Beauty Creations eyebrow pencil, which is this one. And I can't even see the shade, it like scratched off. But I feel like I like the other shade better. And the other one I used the shade dark brown. So good. This one needs my eyebrows a little bit lighter. I kind of just like to fill in the sparse areas, kind of underline it underneath, but I don't like doing it like too harsh. Something like this, a little bit more natural. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if my eyebrows look natural. Sometimes I'd be going like overboard and I make them hella dark, but I know that the fluffy brows are like in style right now. They're like trendy. But I feel like those do not look good on me at all. Am I the only one that doesn't like them? At least on me, on other people, they look amazing. I feel like my eyebrow hairs are too short and they just do not look good on me. But I never fill in the inner part, just like the outer part. So here's the difference, I feel like. You can barely tell the difference. They just look a little bit more shaped. Okay guys, so not to conceal my eyebrows, I use this Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I also use this under my eyes, so I go like on my eyelid and under my eyes. So like this, like this. 
so I feel like it gives you the most coverage when you like let it sit for a little bit like don't let it get all the way too dry but that's why I apply it under my eyes while I'm carving my eyebrows I just go ahead and clean them up to give them a better shape and I like cleaning up my eyebrows with concealer and then applying it all over my lid just so I can have a base for my eyeshadow not Benny leaving we have a judge's appointment bet you anything he's gonna go to Starbucks but I have not waxed my mustache or eyebrows in so long okay so this is how I carve them out then I go ahead and blend it and I dry the concealer down here to my eyelid and the inner corners to make sure that it looks very well blended and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer with the beauty sponge but make sure to not mess up what you already cleaned up like try not to like go too near your eyebrows if you know what I mean I kind of just go on your eyelid like this And then I go ahead and blend out my under eye concealer. This all around, make sure to get the inner corners and the outer corners over here. And whatever's left over, I kind of like drag it down. This could be your last step, but if you really, really want to brighten your under eyes, I don't do this all the time. I do it like once in a while, but sometimes I grab a lighter concealer and I apply it to like the inner corners right here and blend this out. And if you want more of a lifted look, you could also apply it to like the outer corners. I just want my little inner corners to be a little bit more bright under my eyes. And this concealer is amazing on its own, but I feel like all their shades are like kind of light. I couldn't find a shade in this that was similar to this. You guys see how this one's lighter. Go ahead and blend this out. So now that our under eye concealer is blended out, I make sure to blend out the concealer does start to crease on the eyelid so i go ahead and blend it out one more time before i set it so the powder that i've been using is this airspun one this is in the shade and naturally neutral it's not translucent is it it's just loose face powder which looks like this i used to use the kylie one the kylie one is better if you have dry skin because i feel like my skin is dry but when it was drier this one would look so ugly on me but i was barely able to start using it again like i said this is the airspun naturally neutral and i basically bake like my whole face like my nose under eyes and then i go over my lids with this too the concealer starts to crease a little bit again so i just kind of blend it further with my finger and I use the same sponge I use for foundation which is the Lash Barley beauty sponge and it's only six dollars and I wonder why I'm breaking out and I'm using like dirty ass brushes but this is a BH Cosmetics brush I use this all the time it's like a little kabuki brush and I kind of just blend out the powder Okay, I literally only have like 10 more minutes to get ready, so I need to hurry up. <laughs> okay guys, so next is eyeshadow, and you guys know I stay using the BFF palette. This is actually the palette that Elsie and I created with Beach Cosmetics, and it is literally my holy grail. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> literally my baby, so beautiful. And since it is almost Mother's Day, BH Cosmetics is having a sale. You guys can use code BESTIE for 25% off. Don't forget to use it. It's only valid for two days. So get yourself one, get your mom one. Literally the best palette. And I'm not just saying that because it's like our creation. And it has like a variety. You get your neutrals, you get your pop of colors. You have the reds, the pinks, the blues. So since I am in a hurry, I'm going to do the look that I always do, which is shade 24, which is this like light orange. And I apply this to my crease. But if you guys do want other eyeshadow tutorials with this palette, please let me know. If you guys want more of like the dramatic looks, I have been posting some on Instagram. But I feel like I haven't done like an actual tutorial on those dramatic looks. So if you guys are interested in any of the looks that I have on my Instagram, you guys want me to make a tutorial, please let me know what look you guys want me to make the tutorial for. So like I said, this is shade 24. Oh my god, my brush is hella dirty. I just apply it all over my crease. Okay guys, so I already applied a little bit on this side, but I'm using shade Scorpio on my outer crease with a pencil brush. I usually use another brush, but I can't find it today, so I'm using this one. This is more of a rusty orange shade, darker than the first one. And I apply it to my outer corners, and then I'm gonna blend it up in the crease. I'm just applying the color right now, I'm not blending it yet. So I'm gonna use the first brush that I used to blend this out. I'm gonna just blend it upwards 
and I might not blend so good today because I am in a hurry I literally have like five more minutes to get ready or else I'm gonna be <laughs> late for my doctor's appointment and I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that 24 shade to further blend it I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes and add an eyeliner and do my bronzer probably in the car because I'm running late. Yeah, babe? Huh? We're late. I know. Good thing I got you some macarons. That is very sweet. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is there chicken <laughs> nuggets in here? I'm hella dead. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my god. So like, Macaroon and chicken nuggies? Pretty patties with a side of nuggies. <laughs> I'm dead. This is cute. Oh. This is hella good. Yeah. Thanks, baby. You're so sweet. Tell me why I ran out of the house with my makeup, my bag, everything. And I was carrying the macaroons that Benny brought for me. And he, he actually got me a drink as well. And I spilled it all over me and I'm wearing white. I had to like run back in the house and scrub it off. But I'm going to try to finish my makeup. Like I said, I'm still blending out my eyeshadow with the shade 24 and the same brush. Not me wearing a turtleneck while it's like 90 degrees outside. And tell me why I was such in a rush that I forgot to put a bra on. So I brought like pasties with me and I put them on and since my sweater is like loose my pasties fell off <laughs> I was running over here so it was like my pasties falling off I spilled the drink all over me I like dropped my makeup It was hectic This is what I get for waking up late man Do you guys see how beautiful these eyeshadows blend? It makes it like easier for me to get ready in a rush because I ain't got time to be blending all day Okay, so for eyelashes, I'm going to be using the Lash Bralette Boss Babe Lashes. I already used these a hell of times. That's why they look like this. But they've been lasting me so long. Oh, wait, let me curl my eyelashes. It's the one eyelashes on. It's just hard putting putting it on on a moving car. Okay. I feel like I can't put my other eyelash while the car is moving. So I usually use the LA Girl um, Pro Glide Eyeliner, which I forgot to bring today. I used another one. It's not as black. As the Ellie Girl one, the Ellie Girl one is so good. And then for my lower lashes, I like using this item, Beauty Mascara. I got this in my Ipsy Glam bag. I love how like tiny it is for the lower lashes. Okay guys, so for bronzer, blush, and highlighter, I'm going to be using the BFF Snatch Palette. Like I said, this is our collection with BH Cosmetics, and you guys can use code BESTIE for 25% off. The code is only valid for two days, so make sure to take advantage. I literally try to use like other bronzers, but I always come back to this palette because you literally have everything you need right here, like your contour, your bronzer, your blush, and highlight. And they blend out so good. They're so like buttery. So I go ahead and use shade Latina, which is this one, to bronze. Okay guys, so now for blush, I use shade You're My Person from the same Snatch palette and I apply it to the apples of my cheeks. If you want your cheeks to look a little bit higher up, you could apply the blush higher up, but I like applying it to the apples of my cheeks. Does anyone else feel like a senora wearing turtlenecks? I feel like a senora today. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose with the same Snatched face palette, but this time I'm gonna be using shade Skinny Legend, which is this one right here. Apply this shade to the tip of my nose like the bottom of it right here with this type of brush I feel like it makes your nose look a little bit like lifted then I go on the sides of my nose right here. and then what I like to do is I like grabbing a light powder I usually use a max c2 or c3 powder this one's the studio fix powder plus foundation and i like applying this lighter shade next to the contour if that makes sense like right here i usually use a smaller brush but i'm just pinching this one since i forgot my other brushes but i like going on the sides of my nose right here okay so now that we are all done with contouring the nose i'm gonna go ahead and apply highlighter i'm gonna be using the shade sheen which is this one and i always apply it with my finger and i just put it like on the tip of my nose like so just kind of like blend it out i love contouring my nose with these shades and the highlight it makes your nose look so cute 
but I usually use cork lip liner by MAC but today I got a new one this one's from Morphe in the shade of bite me and it looks similar to cork so I'm gonna see how I like it oh not me having crusty lips I feel like cork is just a tiny bit darker like it's not much of a difference but I actually like this shade okay guys and I do overline my lips a little bit a little bit a whole lot of bit but I only like to overline like my cupid's bow right here okay I'm not gonna lie I actually like the cork lip liner better than this one I don't know why I feel like this one looks a little bit more like red toned on camera at least but if I had to choose in between this one and cork I would probably go with cork okay so now for lipstick I'm gonna be using the Alondra's favorites liquid lipstick in the shade camel this is also from the BFF collection with BH cosmetics so sometimes I use cork lip liner to line my lips or I use the shade desert which is in the Elsie's favorites lip duo my lips are a little bit dry but what I like about this lipstick is that, that even though it's a liquid lipstick it's still very moisturizing so it doesn't dry out your lips it's like the perfect nude okay guys that was it for my go-to makeup tutorial make sure to use code Bessie to get 25% off the BFF collection on bhcosmetics.com make sure to take advantage of buy one for your mom for Mother's Day hey guys I'm gonna go because my doctor's appointment is right now okay guys so it has been a super long day I'm finally home I actually just got my nails done look how cute they are gender reveal nails but I ended up finding some shoes for my dress I haven't even tried on my dress and so I haven't tried on the I don't even know if the chanclas are gonna match the dress, but these are the ones I got They're just white and very cute. Hopefully I end up liking how the dress fits me Oh, by the way, I did mention in my last video that I switched to a closer doctor But they weren't letting Benny in so we just went back to our original doctor even though he's an hour and a half away so if you guys are wondering why he's with me at the doctor's appointment it's because we switched back this new doctor the ultrasound pictures were so bad it was literally just like a black picture like you could tell that he didn't really care for his patients and it didn't make me feel very comfortable so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go back and we're probably gonna rent a hotel or airbnb close to my due date but i'm super excited the gender reveal is two days away okay guys that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to use code bestie for the bh cosmetics bff palette the code is only valid for two days and i'll see you guys in my next video bye yeah i'm all about a check yo that she wanna give me snacks yeah they mad i got them upset hit that bitch one song to the next